fringes of the universe with Boss TT-1000. I've been asked about this preset or the effects on it a few times, so uh, I try to explain it here. On the display, you should see the uh, Tone Studio view. That gives, should give you an idea of what's going on, and then uh, you see what's going on here through the through camera. The beginning of the song is rather simple. I just have the basic... <laughs> basic overdrive tone and then when we go to the first part we go the other guitar stays here and uh, I put my lead on it's always at the current number for me so the preset number that button is also the lead boost and the first thing we do is just a little you know some bend and then at the harmonizer just a minor third and then comes the first funny part where this stays on and on the record you can hear an effect dropping behind it i heard it that it was made at the production stage originally but i tried to simulate it by using a divider here on the boss as long as i hold this button the signal goes into a delay and then after that a sound band effect that drops it gradually down one octave and i've set the delay pulse so that it's the same as the songs which per minute is we are using backing tapes in concerts so once it's set it's always right i just need to press it at the right moment obviously i can use my feet for it right now so i just try to simulate it with my hands here what happens is Okay, so I'm holding a note here like this. So it gradually goes down, it only does it for a couple of bars, but it's a, it's a fun effect. As far as the harmonizer goes, a couple of parts of the song require different harmonization and um, I set this manually so that it doesn't grab every note, it's not based on a scale or anything, it's just uh, I've chosen the notes for that song that I need to uh, get harmonized. If I play a set of notes with this on, you can hear it, it doesn't... <laughs> It only grabs the essential notes and gives them the right pairs for each part of the song. So in the second verse, it's got the... Uh, there's some big scraping going on and then uh, the lead goes... Right before it goes to D and B and then on from there. Similar thing happens towards the end. The extra part where it goes... who know the song will know what I'm talking about. It sounds to me that there's a flanger on the album, so for after that bite goes... <laughs> Obviously, there's the um, mellow part. The other guitarist in the group takes care of that, but I can get to that. Just using the volume part because I have a real treble booster before the boss. Then after that, there's only a couple of notes that you have to accentuate. Like that, and then... Before the bass, and then it goes into the picking exercise. Kind of like that, and then at the end, it's got the uh, the solo. So far, I leave that covers it. I always have the lead boost at the current number or the preset number. It turns from um, blue to yellow when I press it. I have room for three effects per song here, which for the most part covers it. So when we go to the next song, I just, you know, go to the next preset. The GT1000 is a wonderful unit. The amp sounds themselves are not the best on the market, but I believe that the uh, effects section can compete with anything double the price. The effects are great. The whole thing is built like a tank. It really works well. I guess that's it.